There is no more exciting way to catch bass than on top water. But sometimes you have to take it to where they live, and that's in the grass. Hi, my name is Jimmy Liao from Fish Code Studios, and today we're going to talk about how bass blow up on frogs. Now, there's probably no better bait than a hollow bodied frog for searching out big bass in grass mats. Now, the problem has always been missed strikes. How do you hook up with these fish and get them into the boat? You know, these baits are notorious for missed fish. Now, you hear pros preach about ripping the bait out of the fish's mouth. Is that really true? Can you really rip the bait out of the fish's mouth fast enough? We're gonna test this out with some serious science. A bass can detect your frog on first plop using multiple sensory cues, sound, vision, and the lateral line system. This fish is just locked on visually. Now here's the pre-attack. Note that all the fins are splayed out for maximum stability before committing to the strike. Now before committing, the bass comes in for a closer look is this the rejection moment? Will it happen? Now it's go time. Over 20 muscles and interconnected bones are activated. The average human reaction time is about a quarter of a second, which is about how fast it takes for you to blink. That means you can't start moving the rod fast enough, let alone set the hook. That means you cannot react fast enough to pull the frog out of its mouth. And unless it's a three pounder or larger, this one is about a pound and a half or if the fish has a clear shot at the frog, let's say in open water, bass usually don't take the bait in one slurp. Instead, it will prey process, which means that it will use its body and its jaw movements to get the bait into its mouth cavity. As the head turns to one side and down to force the prey under, the caudal fin activates to drive the fish back down. Now it's amazing how many bubbles are formed in the mouth. You can see that the frog was captured, but depending on the size of the fish, and the accuracy of the strike, it may not be entirely in its mouth. Now what do you think would happen if you set the hook now? I know what I would say. I can't believe I missed that fish! Or, they aren't biting it good today because it's so cold out. Now it's impossible to jerk the bait out of the fish's mouth before it closes. So we've busted that myth. What's happening when you miss a fish on a frog is that it doesn't have the frog in the mouth cavity yet probably because the angle of the strike or the size of the fish. So what do you do? Well, you have no idea how much air is entrained into the mouth of the animal. You have no idea what angle it grabbed the bait from. So the best thing to do is wait. One, two, maybe even three seconds before you swing. Now you might say, hey, the bass might spit the bait out. That's the downside, right? But take it from a scientist. If you wait longer before you swing, you'll set the hook on a lot more fish. I'm Jimmy Liao from Fish Code Studios. If you like what you saw, show the love and subscribe. Until next time.